we're now producing just an enormous quantity of data, which uh, is uh, very generally available. We publish every year, not just our report, but also the, a lot of data sets uh, which are supporting it. Essentially, our, our uh, research now generates a data set for each year, 1.3 million observations. So we have like a synthetic uh, wealth database for the whole world. We now have this for 15 countries, so you do the calculation. We're talking about 20 million observations uh, sitting there is in a data set, and it's a very rich data set and can be used for all sorts of reasons. And I think, uh, I think there's just a wonderful variety of reasons. Every, every year, I think, of 10 PhD theses that could be written on this topic, and I do hope that uh, people wake up to this. The reason why it's not been... Uh, it's not really been a popular subject in the past, I think, because of the data problem. People have just shied away because it's just too difficult to spend the time cleaning up the data and really uh, trying to get something which is usable. But now the sort of data we're producing, I think, is, is just... Uh, there's no excuse now. And indeed, there is a huge, there's a huge uh, market for this, and it's not just in, say, the, the regular development field or the people in, interested in equality... It is the, the, the big banks. Uh, they have a very big interest in the asset holdings of people, what's happening there, you know, which part of the, which regions, which countries in the world are doing particularly well, uh, how many new uh, consumers are coming out of these countries, what sort of things uh, are they going to be interested in buying, um, what sort of financial instruments are, are, are going to be happening, what's going to be happening to their stock markets. All of these things are really are really very interesting. So we're very hopeful that uh, it will um, really stimulate a lot of research. Um, this year, of course, we've had uh, uh, Piketty's book, which has almost transformed the landscape, I think, just uh, so we're now in a, what I sometimes call a post-Piketty world, I think, that we just view these topics in a different way. Inequality is clearly important for all sorts of reasons, and people need to give this more attention. The WID is really a very important national, uh, international resource, I mean, and it's so important that it is uh, maintained and developed uh, here. It's a public good, so there's, there's some cost to keeping it uh, running, but so many researchers rely on this as a basic source of information. Um, I, was, I happened to go to a conference a couple of years ago, and it was a, it was a sociology conference, in fact. I was, think I was about the only economists there, and I was struck every single person was getting up and talking about the WID and how they were using the WID. It is just used routinely in, uh, in various, particularly cross-country comparisons, and everyone is interested in, in now in comparing experiences, a variety of experiences in different countries, and just seeing uh, how important, inequ whether inequality is a variable which uh, is very often important in understanding what's going on. So the, the notion about uh, keeping this uh, resource going and developing it to a point where it is even more valuable as a research tool for researchers, I think, is, is, a, is really just a core, um, core thing for the future. And uh, if WIDA doesn't do this, then other people are going to step into that, to that vacuum. So um, it is being maintained, and I think uh, it does, we need to make sure that the resources are available to, to, make, to continue that and continue to update it uh, and to keep the quality very high and to allow people to really uh, use that, in, uh, make it very easy, really, for people to use that in their research. The reason why WIDA is so critical here is because of its network of people. I, I forget how many are on the network. There used to be 10,000 people on the wider mailing list. It's probably 20,000 now, as far as I can see. It just stretches everywhere at all levels in, in, in pretty well every country in the world. Um, and there, is, there are very few places that really have that sort of network of quality academics who know what they're talking about, who are involved in the research. So that's what you need. You, you need people who understand the data for different parts of the world who are working on it. And they're often young, active people, uh, academics. Uh, this is uh, just 
the core people in the wider network and exactly the sort of people that you want to be able to draw upon in order to produce a quality uh, research uh, resource. Mm -hmm.